Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's session we are going to discuss about the timer counter circuit is operating in mode 2 operation. The previous video we discussed how to operating the timer counter circuit in mode 1 function and also mode 0 function. This video only we discuss about mode 2 operation. So this mode 2 operation is otherwise called as auto reload mode. It's a schematic diagram. So in this diagram it consists of oscillator circuit, frequency divider, timer register, timer flag register and three control signals is used to triggering the timer register by hardware or software. We will discuss one by one. The first block is oscillator block. So in this oscillator block is mainly used to generating the clock frequency to triggering the different blocks. In 8051 microcontroller, the oscillator block is generating the 11.08 MHz of frequency. So this frequency is not support to triggering the timer register one. So here we are using one frequency divider block. So this block is mainly used to dividing the frequency. So 11.08 MHz by 12. So after dividing, you can get the frequency. So this frequency is entered to triggering the timer registers. So here the TL1 and TH1 is the timer register 1. So it's a 16 bit register. This register is split into two blocks. One namely called as TH1. So TH1 is an 8 bit register. And another one namely called as TL1. So this TL1 also 8 bit register. So here first you set the initial value of the timer 1 register. It's an initial value of TH1. So this value is transferred to TL1. Now TL1 value is F8. So in this switch is mainly used to the circuit is operating in timer mode or counter mode. So first control signal is TR1. So this TR1 is used to find whether in this circuit is used for the timer 0 register or timer 1 register. This 1 represent for in this circuit it used for the timer 1 register. So this value equal to 1. The next control signal gate. So gate is mainly used to identify whether the timer counter circuit is triggered by software or hardware. Here let us consider the gate value is 0. So gate value is 0. The timer counter circuit is activated by software. We just pause the instruction with the program itself. So input of the inverter is 0, output of the inverter is 1. So this 1 is paused, the input of first OR gate. The next pin is connected to INT1 pin. So this value equal to 1. So now both the values are 1, the OR output is 1. So input of AND gate, both the input are 1. The output of the AND gate is 1. This switch is pulled down. Now the switch is connect on position. The frequency is entering in a TL1 registers. The frequency is entering in a TL1 register. Whenever the frequency is entering in the TL1 register, it automatically incremented by 1. Finally, it reached the maximum limit FF. So once the TL1 register it reached the maximum value FF, all the bits are set to be 1. So it's transferred to 0, 0. So this condition is called as a rollover. So once it reaches the maximum value, so after entering the next to clock pulse, that time this all ones is changed to all zeros. This condition is called as a rollover. So when rollover is occurred, that time the signal is paused to the TF1 register. So this one is paused to TF1 register. So this timer flag register is set to be 1. So this value is paused to here TH1. So again this F8 value is transferred to TL1 register. So this type of operation is called as an auto reload mode. Once you fix the initial timer value, after completing the rollover, the initial time TH1 is goes to T1. 
TL1 register. So now TF1 value equal to 1. So this signal is passed to the input. The peripheral device is turn on or turn off. It's a mode 2 operation. So mode 0 is a 13 bit timer counter register is used. Mode 1 we are using the 16 bit value. In this mode 2 we are using the 8 bit timer registers. So thanks for watching my channel. If you are seeing first time my video, please subscribe. Thank you.